bar with <laughs> You're fucking you're supposed to touch it every now and then. Stop. You're not even it's not even there. No, it's not. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Here comes episode two of this yeah. terrible fucking game. I don't like it. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. I'm gonna do everything I can to kill this bitch. Is that cool? That's your bitch. June tw oh remember that one date was June twenty second. Remember? What is it now? June twentieth. June twentieth, but it's like God, why? Why do all these years space, you later? Dumb, dumb cut. Oh, don't pop your Oh my god. I almost got cut. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Yeah, that's why um you know, you're supposed to approve it with the Coast Guard so they can clear it all out. And you don't, you know, see dead bodies or get stabbed. Shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? Oh. Uh, she's sick. I guess. Dude, this is not fun at all. I don't like this. Oh, yeah. Leave it. You don't have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? <laughs> don't oh, be you such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Um. You stupid. I'm courageous, I'm cunning, I'm excited. Is this Alex? Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. He ain't gonna hurt me. It's just a squid. This bitch is fearless, and I hate her. <laughs> Did you know you could clear water from those? You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. I know what I'm doing, okay? <laughs> I don't need a lifeguard. That's it? <clears throat> I risked my life for this. It was a rescue plan. Launched from a U.S. base. I did oh, find Oh, that's the plane that was supposed to come rescue uh, the folks on the ship. Oh, really? I think so. Yeah. They're on their way to help out a ship. Yep. yep. So, does he hate me yet? <sighs> Alright, well, uh, maybe I need to start being a good girlfriend. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not the best girlfriend, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Another oh, secret? All down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. I'm I'm the best detective, the worst girlfriend, best detective, and that's a fact. Jack, Jack of Black. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. What? One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. I'm finding all the secrets. Good God. Yeah. 
Okay. What? Why would I do that? Why would I do that? Why? Why would I do any? Oh, his kid. Oh. Wow. What the hell happened here? From the look of things, they knew they were goners. Uh, now what? Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Wait, what? What is that? Bang stick. Oh, okay. Was I supposed to use the bang stick? Mm -hmm. Oh, he's got a gun. Of some type, huh? Oh, oh fuck, fuck me! I think I went my wetsuit. When life gives you lemons. Ew. Ha <laughs> ha. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. So well, you got a, a gun. Yeah, look like it. Oh, oh shit, I don't know. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's such a oh god. All right. Drive it, bitch. I'm driving it, daddy. Why am I doing this? Julia, oh my god. Just don't touch anything else, please. Why, why did I do that? To be honest with you. Now she's like disgusted and angry. We gotta get out of here, now! What? Oh! oh! Shark? Now there's a shark? Now come at me, shark! It's a gray reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't guess. Oh. Ah. You can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I mean, I, I... I just... I mean, we almost just died! Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes! I'll marry the shit out of you! Fuck you. That's the first good thing I did. Fuck me! Fuck you! <laughs> we're married now. No, we're Put my married, ring on. Motherfucker. Put right, have my to ring. Go. Put Walk my down, ring on. Uh, escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Where did the boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. <gasps> oh, damn. Yeah. What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. But we have rebreathers, don't we? We have. Fuck it, I'm going. We have a rebreather. Do we not? Yeah, that's what she said they were. Yeah. Hey, what the hell is going on? Uh, hey, JJ, don't worry about it. Now I'm gonna be sick. 
Einer. Ja. It was a little uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give I saw it wasn't my... You're an asshole. Whatever. Full hearty, courageous, selfish, excited. Great. Cares, right? What I want to know is what you guys find. Well, I found a plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. I hope it's your turn. I'm about... Goddamn. You gotta keep touching that controller now. Oh, great. Back to this fucking asshole. Oh. What? You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. And he, the love of hers. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say... Douchebag. <laughs> and then there's Captain Fliss. Strong. Forthright. Stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Not a chance. Let me reassure <laughs> you. You help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. Oh, like coming up. Well, I was worried. And we got the damn rebreather. Like, go. <laughs> I don't know, dude. I don't know if it was the right decision or what. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relevant. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, <laughs> just to say, this lady was impressed. Yeah, well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking. They act like this boat is massive, like you, you can't fucking find kind of people. Phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. <laughs> yeah. We found a bullet lodged in the plane. I mean, it's pretty big, but I'll like... Below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? <laughs> um... Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. <laughs> so, I guess we should talk Julia about wedding plans. Fisk. Eventually. Dad can foot the bill. I'm sure my dad will want to spare no expense. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are going to think I married you for your money. No, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bot. Julia. Hey, anything's not a big deal. Really. I'm sorry that's on your mind. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. That's so romantic. I love you, Alex. Mm, that's right. Kiss me, motherfucker. You're welcome. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll... What is all this bearing shit? I don't know. I don't. So oh, this, yeah. Oh. So this is all like the decisions that were made. Yeah. Yep. Oh no. Yep. You got bins. Okay. Find them. You just relax. Hey, you see my brother? 
Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. What, what are they doing? Banging in the fucking... Oh! Jesus Christ, Conrad! <sighs> <laughs> so sorry to interrupt your seven seconds in heaven. Oh, yeah, the beers. He's an actor somewhere. Hmm? That face... His face. Oh yeah, he's definitely an actor. I've seen him in movies face. before. I've seen him in movies. Fliss don't like me. Wait, what? Oh, we haven't had any interaction. I like this right. little boat, now huh? Everybody's here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Time for me to look at everything that everybody else has looked at. <laughs> oh, we can look at pictures. Ah! What a great picture. Probably not gonna do anything, is it? No. No, thank God. Sorry about my boundary. Love. That's new. Hmm. That's new. Hey. What is? Yeah. Whatever you had to get on the table. Oh no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you fix it. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, ow. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. Should I drink uh, hey, with the bins? Hold there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Um, I'm gonna not. Always. I'm gonna pass. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. So, I'm not drinking it. I'm telling it. you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you to take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Shut the fuck up, Conrad. Uh, maybe I'll stick to H2O. Don't want to push my luck. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by oh, tomorrow? Great. It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. Do you find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. 
No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah. What was that? Oh. I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. Right. I'll use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, sitting <laughs> like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards, and for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Okay, here we go. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door. And, sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Right. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> fuck. Super twist. Nice. Nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Get me on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. Because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulation? This guy's a fucking uh, alcoholic. Standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Jeez, look at the fucking one. Will it ever be your turn? Strangling. Oh, I'm Conrad this time. I need to be a douche. Great. <laughs> I can't wait to see what decision. Oh, yes. I'm finna slip off in that ass.
<laughs> oh god. Oh shit. What the I fuck was that? I don't like it. I don't like it. Was that people? I don't like it. What the fuck is this? It's gotta be a dream. It's gotta be a dream. I don't give a fuck what it is. Fuck this. <clears throat> Did you tap it in time? Yeah. Told you they're back. Pirates? Yep. <gasps> Remember the part though? Remember, this is probably one of the parts that we've seen in the painting. Remember? Well, because I'm an egotistical asshole. Yeah. Well, you didn't have any choice of that, so. Hopefully you learned your lesson. Remember we got to shoot at this guy or something? Remember the painting? Mm. <coughs> um, ga yeah. How you going, gagging? Side to side or up and down? Yeah. Get side to side. Where's Brad at or whatever? Good question. Okay. I think so. Oh. He's got blood on him. You should have talked to her before you un gagged them. Yes. I just felt like it would have been better to have everybody's. Yeah. Damn, she's a beast. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. Bad news? I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I missed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? Don't worry. If they were gonna kill us, they would have done it already. I'm not just worried about being killed. Oh. Untie. Untie. Guys, What's up to you, though? Get untied. Right now. Why would she help? She, her hands are in front of her. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Where's Brad? Didn't let me dodge that one. Oh, he's gonna throw me in the water. I hope not. <laughs> you 
fucking dick. What was that, a knife? Yep. Great. Stop! Please, just stop. Slow down. Easy. Jesus. Be on your best behavior, little man. It's got French. Okay. Okay. Reckless. <laughs> <laughs> Put your hands behind your back. Oh, Jesus, Conrad. How do you want it? Nobody's asked about Brad yet. Yeah, I know. Except me. Fucking look in your eyes. Can you back? Then we can take him by surprise. Turn around right now. Every now and then I get a little bit tired. Fuck. Motherfuckers. What'd they do to her? She's alive and not taken advantage of in any way. Now we just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yeah, what the fuck was. Is that true? Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy, uh, he's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. I'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. <laughs> okay. Good luck, going. Dawson. <laughs> Good luck, Strangling. Good job. I pressed it. I pressed it, I don't know. Maybe I should have pressed it at six. I pressed it at seven. Yeah, you're supposed to press it at six. Oh my god. 
Oh, uh, yeah, keep calm. Think he's gonna shoot you or something or what? Yeah, I just didn't. Yeah. Yeah. Good move. What are you doing, you idiot? Careful. Don't make this worse. Think about what you're doing, boy. Boat! Just get to the boat! This kid's trying to kill me or something. They're gonna fucking do something. Yep. <laughs> Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. God damn it, Dawson. <laughs> Sit down. Where the fuck is Brad? Over there. I don't know, dude. Right Sit. No. Don't know. Arrêtez, bande de con! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets une poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? Guess it's your turn now. Is it Brad? Or is it, uh, it's Fliss. Great. Got off the boat. He's shitting his pants somewhere. You gave me your best shot. All right, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh, give me a break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation, sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. No. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, asshole. What a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Duke, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us? 
It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Should I ask for help? Thanks for helping, Dawson. I, I really you feel like. It's your decision, though. So fuck you. Really feel like we're in this together. Oh shit! Holy fuck balls! Everything's better when we have each other. How do you get that? Don't you? Oh my god. Wait. This idiot. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Oh my god. Is Brad. <laughs> Thanks, I guess. Anyone know about Brad? Is he hiding somewhere? I don't know where he is. Mm. Where the fuck is Brad? How am I deceitful and innocent? Bradley! Oh, wow. Bradley! Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. This guy looks a little scared. Oh shit, look. That's a ghost ship? Uh, I think it's a real ship, bud. I think it's gotta be ghost. You think so? There's no way they'd leave it still, like, sitting there. You gotta think it's a thunderstorm just like last time. Yeah, you might be right. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Wow. Really? <sighs> Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Hmm. Should we do it? Yeah. <laughs> okay then. We will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Hmm. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Special feature unlocked? Probably shouldn't have said that. What does that mean? What's my special feature? What? <laughs> what? I didn't have opportunity to find secrets. 
No, I mean, no. I found most secrets, and you miss most QTEs, which is where you press buttons. Or Q, what is QTEs? I don't, I don't know. know. I, every button I pressed, I, Google I it. Right. Google a QTE. I'm tired of Googling shit. <laughs> okay, it's always me that does the fucking research when we do anything. I'm Why don't not you doing shut it. up for once. I'm not. Fucking sissy boy. Who are you right now? Conrad. Seems like a mistake. Absolutely. Maybe there's guns in here, though. Hey. Junior, retire la tête à l'image. Fucking what the fuck? What is that? Something with the motor. Like the battery? Go. Uh, distributor cap. So I don't know if it has something to do with gas or feeding energy throughout the boat. Mm. I've never heard of one, I'm just guessing. Yeah. Because she said fuck whenever it was moved, so obviously that's something that's needed. Yeah. This seems like an accident. Secrets. There's one right there. What a douche. Like, why? <laughs> Guess he's afraid of getting hit with a clipboard. This whole place is a floating death trap. I guess. Is that a human foot? Yep. That guy's okay. He's okay. Like, how the fuck is this a good idea? Jesus fucking Christ. I remember these boys. Do not sign up for a trip to Creek Pack. Something about this place is making my hair stick up so far it's gonna jump out of my neck. The Mist of Madness? Mask. Well, oh. whatever. Oh, there we go. There's another one. That's it. Yeah, two of them. Move. I wish this guy would shut the actual fuck up. How the fuck do I? You gotta keep going that way. Get back. Yeah, I know, but I felt like I'd like walking past it at that point, you know? Yeah. I am past it. It won't let me go back. What the hell do these dickheads want with us? Ah, oh, damn! <laughs> Are some of these guys barefooted? I think so. Stupid. On a rusty ship. 
Seems like a smart idea. Awesome. Tetanus. Okay, all of you, into the room. This guy blows dick. <laughs> Where is Brad, part three? What if Brad's behind all this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the hell is this fucking place? <laughs> those meathead seem Dude, spooked. Even those meatheads seem spooked. You think this ship is the Manchurian gold? We are in the vicinity of those coordinates. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. We're not exactly in the best position to be making any moves. The second they let their guard down, we gotta take advantage of it and get off the ship. Uh, yeah, man. This whole rust bucket's one tetanus shot from the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> we already tried to escape. Didn't exactly work out. We gotta get back to the boat and find Brad. That was your fault. What happened to him? <laughs> no, I tried to escape. Y'all were gonna sit there and be a bunch of bitches. <laughs> so, okay, what exactly is a distributor cap? Is that what you're talking about? You're talking to someone who doesn't know anything about boats. It makes the engine work. I don't know. The Duke of Milan is dead in the water without it. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find in this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I, hmm. Well, your apology is kinda accepted. <laughs> cool. Cool. What are we looking like on time? Just hold the record button down. I don't know what the record button is. Well, that's obvious. Okay. Just give it a couple minutes. The fuck is this guy? Let's move the whole thing. Gotta find something short. I like how your sister's doing absolutely fucking nothing. Real, real creepy. What, glasses? Conrad's a bitch. What do you think this ship was? Uh oh. Found something. Strangling. Hi, I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave. Uh, hmm. All right. Cincinnati, Kentucky. Uh, I guess that's a thing. I don't didn't know. I wonder why this was ripped off. Don't know, bud. Let me guess, he's gonna be on. He lose up. Hmm. 
personne. Et j'ai pas les outils pour y arriver. Faites que... Fais ce que je te dis. Et c'est tout. Il va te perdre vos temps. Fuck you. Hmm. Too bad a guy that just listened to the whole conversation can't understand French. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Any luck? I can't get it open. Hey. Come here. I'll say something. Maybe we can bend it open and get out of here. Ah, cliffhanger. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Got him. Hi, right, guys. Appreciate you coming by. Uh, let's see what the fuck we got. Uh, check these out real quick. <laughs> Idiot. Well, bye.